हेलो 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 एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू स्पोर्ट्स लूमोस 50 ग्रेटेस्ट ओलंपिक मोमेंट्स फॉर इंडिया आई एम सिद्धार्थ विश्वनाथन एंड आई एम द एडिटर इन चीफ ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स लूमो डॉट कॉम इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड आई हैड फोकस्ड अपॉन द हार्ट ब्रेक ऑफ अभिनव बिंद्रा इन रियो 2016 इन दिस एपिसोड इट इज द सेम एडिशन रियो 2016 बट दिस टाइम इट इज इन बैडमिंटन we are all aware of what pv sindhu underwent the heartbreak that it caused to her and the nation when she just missed out on a historic gold saina nehwal and pv sindhu were the two major names in badminton at that time but in that same edition there was one indian male shuttler who had almost done the unthinkable defeating the ultimate badminton player of her time he pushed him to the limits and he was almost certain to win until big game pressure knocked him off this is the story of kidambi shrikanth and how close he came to defeating one of the greatest badminton players of all time lindan the rio 2016 olympics as i had mentioned folks was on a knife edge for indian fans there were so many close run matches Shrikant's situation was not different. He was placed in a tough group. 13 of those players were seated in different different groups. Shrikant was one of them. He rattled off wins. He started the Rio 2016 campaign confidently with comfortable wins in the group stages. But then his first major match happened with Jan Jorgensen of Denmark. Now why was Jan Jorgensen so special? Because Jorgensen won the 2015 Indonesian Open as well as the 2014 All England tournament. This had made him the first European to win the All in uh, the Indonesian event. The Indonesian event was dominated by the Asians and Jan Jorgensen was in his elements at that time. So Shrikant was facing the fight of his life or did he in a supreme display of confidence yan jorgensen was swept away in two straight games by shrikant the confidence and the audacity that he showed was simply brilliant it put him on on a collision course with one of the greatest badminton players of all time linda Indian badminton in the course of the last decade had been very well served by the likes of Saina Nehwal and PV Sindhu. Saina secured the bronze in the 2012 London Olympics. Sindhu settled for silver in 2016 Rio. Could a male shuttler finally dominate and carry forward the legacy of Saina and Sindhu? Shrikant had made a great start. He had sailed through the group stages and now he had also defeated Jorgensen of Denmark. but now he was at this stage where one defeat would knock him out of the tournament lindan that name was the greatest in badminton he was the only player who would defend his olympic gold he was also a world champion he had won it all that was dominance personified shrikant had a chance maybe 130 billion indians would have just said it's lindan if he puts up a fight it'll be great the signs did not look good folks shrikant was decimated 21-6 in the first game in just 19 minutes it felt it would be a humiliation of an epic order but shrikant showed his metal he displayed a true fighting spirit In an inspired second game, he wrong-footed Lindan a lot of times. His accuracy, his power, his stamina all went up a notch. Shrikant did the unthinkable. He took a game of Lindan, 11-21, or rather I would say 21-11 in favor of Shrikant. It was the start of perhaps something big. The crowd, sensing the momentum, voraciously cheered for Shrikant. Imagine 
an Indian shuttler beating the Chinese shuttler at the top of his game in an Olympics would have been monumental. The dream looked to live on. It was as if a miracle was unfo unfounding in Rio at that time. 12-9 in the third game, Shrikant was on the cusp of an upset that would register an earthquake in badminton. It would blow off the Richter scale. That would be the magnitude of that win. But Lindan is a champion for a reason. He managed to keep his cool. He bounced back and he defeated Kidambi Srikant in an epic three-game match. The respect shown by Lindan was such. He realized, yes, he was pushed to the limit today. Shrikant did not give 100%, he gave 110, he gave 120%. But in the end, it just fell short because Lindan was supreme in the skills. Shrikant did comment after the match, I gave it my all. Indeed, he did give his all. But perhaps in this one case, it might be easy to just ignore what the result was and just focus on the fight and the skill shown by Kidambi Shrikan. A big salute to Kidambi Shrikan for the way how he played Lindan in the 2016 Rio Olympics. Thank you so much folks for watching this special episode of Kidambi Shrikan and the epic fight back in Rio 2016. I will be back with more such interesting anecdotes in the coming days. In the next upcoming episodes, I will focus upon a particular Indian tennis doubles legendary pair. They had put tennis on the world map. They were a dynamic duo loved by all. But in subsequent years, their friendship would become bitter. In episode numbers 32 and 31, I will focus upon Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati and their magnificent experience. Do tune in for that, but before that, press the subscribe button, tap the bell icon to get all these notifications about these special Olympic moments for India. Like, comment and share folks and spread the word. Sports Lumo is your one-stop destination for Olympic coverage, for historical stories, for interesting anecdotes related to India's history. You would not want to miss this. Thank you folks and stay safe.